Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Rutgers Scarlet Knights and the Maryland Terrapins. Tonight, we've got an interesting matchup of the power forward spot. Number 15 is the kind of leader a coach loves to have out on the floor. On the other side, we've also got a great leader out on the floor. This will be a great matchup to track throughout the night. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. This one started. The Terrapins are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Nick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. First of all, it's up to the point guard to be the leader. Control the entire tempo of the game. Next, keep the men on the stakes to a minimum. Turnovers can be a story of this one, baby. Finally, play a five man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. I want another on a tration. Quick, let's get this one started. What happens? Down inside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can. Here they go into transition. In the paint. And now there's a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He keeps his dribble as they reset. On the outside, the point guard with the ball. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. The power forward gets the ball. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. High stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst of buff and shorts, little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Jab, bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. On the outside, the center gets the pass. Number 15, pump fakes. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries for two. Unbelievable, look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Goes up for two. I tell you, what a nice turn down jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice shot. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. <laughs> the power forward takes the feed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Fakes the shot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the post up high. Gave it up. The small forward takes the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They go into the low block, takes the pass in the paint. 
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not a And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. High post flashes for the ball handler. For the bucket. And off the mark. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. On the dribble, gives it up. Outside jumper. He drains the shot. And the fans are going wild. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Got a man in high post. He's got a nice shot fake. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Perfectly executed. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Now trying to feed the low block for two, and he missed. Oh, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to how talented you are that they have. Yeah, that helps. They scored seven in a row. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Good fake. Tries for two. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. From left of the circle, way off target. High post screen. Trying to draw the foul. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. What should they do here, Dick? I play the timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Now they work it around the perimeter. But inside. Great anticipation defensively. They'll work it around the arc. Entry pass. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He'll shoot one. Good. That's seven unanswered. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheer. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. And has 
has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. Pump fakes. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He launches the bomb. He drains the bucket. With the fake. Pushing that basketball. Blocks the shot. Center it, center it. For the bucket. Up and in. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Here's a double team. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. There's a tough shot and one. He wanted that one, baby. He says you got to foul me harder than that. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. On the outside. May slowly performance has just gotten in his head. Well, he knows he's not getting it done, and emotionally, he's bringing him down. There's the screen up on top. Foul charge. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBN. There's the trap. Strips the ball. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. Time to pick up the defense here now. On the outside. I wonder if or how the crowd will play a part in this game, Nick. Hey, one great thing about college basketball is that the fans are so close to the court. I think that makes a huge difference. Now they work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much. The dunk counts and the foul, Dick. He's a high riser, baby. Boy, was that pretty. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. He goes to the free throw line. He sinks it. Should have basketball help one another communicate. And that's 
spacing. He takes the shot off the baseline. Makes it. Look at these fans. They're loving it. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory. Like a sixth man. Controlling the ball. He comes away with it. Mays, modest play, is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotional. He couldn't be much lower on it. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> He takes the three, drains it. The frustration right there. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the trifecta. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Let's it fly. Tickles a twine. the perimeter he shoots from the top of the circle. wow what a super job of running his man into the screen weak jumper and one too many dribbles and a steal the game is changing brad these days guys are consistently playing above the rim Hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Ten seconds on the shot clock. It's stolen. What a great strip. Jumps into the defender. Two, and in and out. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Perfectly executed. That's an eight-nothing run. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. They work the perimeter, takes the pass in the paint, jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. They work it back to the outside. Step out on that screener. Shoots it way off target. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. He attempts the three, knocks it down. 
Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the wall and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. Rivers is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Number 11 looks to record his first minutes. He provides nice push offensively and defensively for this bunch. He'll go to the line. He hits the first. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. He shoots from the top of the key. That was nice. the arc. Combs pounded on it. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. The Scarlet Knights are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He makes it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. the dribble gives it up he was looking for the call and he got it on himself offensive foul definitely an offensive foul no doubt about it he beats him to the spot he launches a three makes the shot They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Oh, what a strip, Brad. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. Made. It's mediocre play. has really gotten to him. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Buried it. Here it is. Explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. That's been 
that move's not going to work against a defense uh, like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Two for one opportunity. Turns it over. Fakes it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walked with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the wall, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Fake. He strokes it. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I oh, yeah. From way downtown. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Terrapins are up by 36. We have had a whale of a contest so far in the first half, Dick Vitale. What do you have for a highlight of the half for us? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Maryland shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Dick, in the second half, our player matchup update, and uh, they're playing very, very even right now. They're not making mistakes. I'll tell you, really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now, they're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. It's a fast break possibility. Puts it up, looking for contact. You are being used as a launching pad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Scarlet Knights are down by 36. It away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He looks for three. Goes. Looking to move it around the perimeter in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. Steals a pass. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. There's a double team waiting there with a deep shot from outside. Working it around the perimeter. We'll take the shot. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. The ball goes out of play. 
You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. They'll work it around the arc. He puts up the tray. Oh, yes. We got to roll that one back. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's a 7 nothing run. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He strips him clean. Chapel. It goes in the foul. You talk about Will. This senior has it, baby. He was putting that in no matter what. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. Number 21 checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. He'll get one. Makes the foul shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Try to get that ball moving. Spacing. Double team now. Bad angle. The shot from the baseline. Way off target. Takes away the pass. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Gave it up. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Dumps it in. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. He tries the three. Sinks it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Three, two, three, two. 
Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Would you believe it? He's taunting the crowd. Now that can really be dangerous. That's what may find him in big trouble with this crowd. For the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. He's open if he wants the shot. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Backcourt violation. Carelessness with the ball is never a good thing. Trying to execute on the inbounds. The center in the paint. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Maryland are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Looking for a good shot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Basket falls despite the contact. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dribble gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. And the ball goes out of play. Watch out, Nick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Intercepted. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect it. Maryland is one of many schools in the very tough Atlantic Coast Conference. Historically, they've had some good seasons. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is cry. One shot. Hits that one. out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spot, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Screen so effective that screen and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They get it out into transition. He shows the sweet touch. The Terrapins are up by 42. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. That's an 8 0 run. He unloads. Got it. On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Misses the first. Makes the second shot. The Scarlet Knights are down by 44. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. This one's turned it into a big blowout, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He looks for the bomb. Gets it to fall. Up and inside. Picks off the lazy pass. Working it around the perimeter for two. And he missed. Isolate on the outside. They're on the up looking for the open. He shoots from outside. Goes in. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's the pick. There's the roll. Goes in. Pops the bucket despite the harm. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. There's the trap. From downtown. Nice shot. Let's look at it again. <laughs> Tries for two. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Yeah. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Terrapins lead by 47. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Now they'll bring it up. Too much. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Steals a pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Ten seconds on the shot clock. I'll tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He gets it to fall. Went away from the post and goes the other way. From left of the circle. Makes the shot. On the outside. On the inside, Kirkland draws the personal. Full house and crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. He steps up to the line. Sinks it. go now they work it around the perimeter that was a great great effort right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well take a look right here nobody steps into the driving lane he allows them to get the crease the lane the angle have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For the bucket, the Terrapins have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That is on fire. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Takes away the pass. For two. Perfectly executed. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Erin. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance really to win. Tries for two. 
I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. And in and Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the outside. Nice fake. There he is, strips the ball loose. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Picked off. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Goes up for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Shot clock is dead. He shoots from the top of the key. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Defense has really stepped up. They're taking over the tempo very nicely. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Dick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we'd hoped for. I'll tell you one thing, the team has really responded as a unit, and they've taken advantage of the abilities of their stars. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Maryland completely outclasses their opposition. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion.